All of them should be around here somewhere, right? Oh, he's over there! But it looks like he might not have time for us. Just put down that worthless book and tell me what happened in the academia. This is not just some worthless book. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to find a physical book like this in Sumeru? It doesn't matter. It's probably just another thing that you used your authority to get your hands on anyway. Just put it aside. Listen, I came back today only to hear that the sages have disappeared. Oh, you sound surprised. I thought you would already know the inside story. Would I be here asking you if I knew? You're the scribe, not me. So just tell me what you know already. Well, I almost became a sage. Huh? Oh, don't sound too surprised now. You're the renowned Kave, light of the Kasharawar. Besides, as a master builder and craftsman, chances are you'll be appointed as a sage too. Hmm, why do I feel like you don't really mean it? Huh, <laughs> what makes you say that? Why would you question my heartfelt sincerity? Maybe it's because you've never said anything good about me before. Yeah, well I share a similar sentiment, and anyone who knows you as well as I do would surely do the same. Ugh, oh, you... See? This is why I hate discussing anything with you. Your ridiculous and arrogant attitude always gets in the way. <laughs> it seems that you really can't stand my personality. Ha! <laughs> What was your first clue? Well, then you might as well move out of my house. Are you threatening me? Stooping to a new low, I see. Ugh, and don't change the subject. You, a sage? What a joke. The academia might as well just close tomorrow. Are they having a fight? <sighs> Forget what's going on with the academia. Haven't you been busy with your construction project? Tell me, when are you going to build yourself a mansion? Don't get me started. I get angry just thinking about it. So, what great building did our master architect work on this time? Like I need to tell you. Keep your nose out of my business. No, I think we deserve to know. Where were you when Sumeru needed you most? I was in the desert for a large project, but considering Haravatat's utter ignorance of architectural and aesthetic matters, you probably wouldn't understand. Oh, which is truly unfortunate. I can only pity the man who doesn't understand the first thing about beauty and romance. Unlike a true... Uh... Hold on, uh, wait a second. What do you mean by when Sumeru needed me most? Well... While you were out fiddling around in the desert, many people came together to save Sumeru from a crisis. Ha! And you think I'd believe that? Look, all you really need to know is that Azar and all his accomplices have all been overthrown. Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> it's no skin off my nose if you don't believe me. It's not like my Darshan was the one trying to apply for funding from the Grand Sage. Hmm. Yours, though, on the other hand. You know what? I'll ask around. I'm sure someone knows what's going on here. You're dead if I find out you're lying to me. Oh, it's you two. What's the matter? We're running some errands for Nilu. Have you received her letter? Letter? Nilu said she sent out a letter inviting everyone to a celebration feast in two days at the Grand Bazaar. We'll also be celebrating Sino's reinstatement as General Mahamatra. If she addressed the letter to all Haytham of the Academia, then the letter should have gone to my office. I've been busy these days, so I haven't had time to check for any new mail at my office. I only now have some free time to attend to personal matters. Have you 
always been so busy with your work? Of course not. I'm only busy these days because several sages have been dismissed recently and the whole academia was practically turned upside down. Kainari told us they all went to train in the Avidia Forest. Apparently they will spend the rest of their lives there. That is already the best possible ending for the likes of them. Four of the six great sages were possessed by their desire for power and attempted to create a new god. In order to pull it off, they even imprisoned the other two rational sages. To imagine such things could take place in the academia. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Feels kind of strange to hear them called that after all this time. But then again, the six great schools sounded pretty impressive too. Yes, at least that's how they're supposed to sound. It's said that when the Academia was first founded, the Dendro Archon herself established the six great schools, each representing one of the six different types of wisdom. Numerous Darshans have sprung up and faded, only the six Darshans attaching themselves to the six great schools have stood the test of time and obtained permanent seats in the Academia. Now, the six Darshans are nearly synonymous with the six great schools, and the leaders selected for the schools are the six great sages. Among the six great sages, there is one central leader, the Grand Sage. Unfortunately, only the sages from Vahumana and Amorta remain now. They were imprisoned for opposing Azar, and were only rescued after Azar's downfall. So who's managing things in the other four schools now? Do they need to find someone new? Yes. Normally, new sages are selected based on a strict set of criteria. Oh, didn't you just say something about becoming a sage? If they pick you, then we'd have a huge connection in Sumeru! Yes, about that. <clears throat> you didn't let me finish my sentence. The person in charge of personnel affairs nominated me to be the Grand Sage in place of Azar and help Lesser Lord Kusanali manage the Academia. But I refused. Huh? But why? Uh, can you be a little more ambitious? I'm not even interested in being one of the six great sages. Like I said before, I don't like being a leader. Oh, all right. <sighs> so are you busy these days trying to find others to take the job? That's not my job either. I'm only responsible for handling important affairs within the academia before the new sages take office. <laughs> and the first thing I'll do is reject Kasharawar's application for funding. By the way, who was that other person just now? Is he your friend? Do we look like friends? Paimon doesn't know! That's why Paimon's asking! His name is Kave, My roommate. You could say he's the representative for Ksharwar scholars. Which is exactly why he always has so many problems. So everything that's happened recently must be a huge change for the people of Sumeru. Such is the work of the Academia Scribe. Well, anyway, no matter how busy you are, since you are our planner, remember to attend the celebration feast in two days. Alright, I'll see you there. <laughs>